What's up everybody? It's your girl Maya Chanel. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 6, y'all. I'm bringing this to y'all a little late. I've been so busy today. I've been cleaning, purging the house, getting ready for the new year. I don't know if y'all do this or not, but all my clothes almost gone and I need to order some more. So I'm getting rid of the old so that I come into the new year fresh. Y'all let me know in the comments. Do y'all do um pre-New Year's cleaning? Like, I know I do a spring cleaning too, but I do a pre-New Year's cleaning too so I can purge of the old to bring in fresh new things for the new year. So y'all let me know. But today, um, what I'm going to do is my little Sunday self-care routine. And we're going to have a little girls chat. So y'all come along with me and I hope you guys enjoy this day of Vlogmas. So first things first, let me heat up my little facial steamer because I'm getting into the steam of today's routine. But like I said, we're talking about friendships. We're talking about building good relationships, picking the right people to be in your life. Because sis, you need to pick the right people because sometimes we'll be sitting here trying to just be nice to everybody when we can't do that. Everybody don't deserve access to your life. And here is why. You're going to have people who are your friends. You're going to have people who are your friends, but they jealous of you, and you're going to have some haters, okay? So you got to know how to tell the difference between all these people, how to tell who is supposed to be in your life, who is not supposed to be in life, and don't put up for stuff. I mean, that goes for friendships, relationships, all of that stuff. So don't put up with nothing because at the end of the day, if you continue to do that, then you're going to be frustrated. You're going to have no peace in your life. You're going to have no relaxation, and you're going to be stressed out all the time. So save yourself some time and some energy so what we're going to do first for my skincare routine though is we are going to cleanse the skin and um i don't know if i want to use i'm gonna just use um this gentle skin cleanser um cetaphil because i've been using it, my other ones but i've been neglecting this one let's kind of try to do this a little bit today one thing about me that a lot of people may not know it's like i have friends and most of my friends that I have are from college honestly because like I've always had friends at different stages in my life but the difference is that when you grow and you know that you want you know where you want to be in your life and you know where you want your life to go and if those people aren't matching up to that it's not to say like oh I'm better than you or anything like that but you have to realize that having the wrong people in your life can hurt you and be detrimental to your success, to your health, to your happiness, and all of that. So, for instance, in um, elementary school, you know, I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of friends in elementary school, but once I got to middle school, we didn't talk no more. Two things, you know, the connection really just wasn't there anymore. Um, our social media game wasn't really popping like that. You know, it was just kind of getting started when I was like, well, we had like MySpace and stuff back then, but I wasn't on MySpace, but, um, you know, social media wasn't really hot like that. We didn't really have phones and stuff. And then we're not really like, you know, we didn't grow up in the same neighborhood. Um, cause I always went to school like outside of my neighborhood, um, because it was closer for my parents and stuff like that. And yeah, we just kind of grew apart. It's not to say like when I see them, when I, whenever I see them, I'm like, hey girl, you know, I see them on social media now. I'm like, hey girl. But you know, like we're not like buddy, buddy, like hanging out and just talking every day type of thing. But it's like somebody I know, so an acquaintance. But you know, you got to know your boundaries. Who needs to be an acquaintance? Who needs to be just a bystander, I would say? Who needs to be a friend and who needs to be a best friend? On also who needs to be a business partner because everybody listen I'm me personally I don't do the partnership I don't know like sometimes everybody don't everybody don't think the same and a relationship and a partnership and business is definitely not the same thing like there's compromise in a relationship but it ain't got to do with your money you know what I mean like your business your livelihood like it's different you know what I mean so, yeah, just being able to choose the right people. Oh, let me get a little steam action, y'all. 
So, yeah, um, and then middle school, I, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I kind of went to schools in different neighborhoods all the time, so didn't really, like, follow around with the same people. Like, you know how, like, you everybody, like, in the same neighborhood goes to the same high school, same middle school, same elementary school? Like, no, that wasn't the case for me because it was, like, I was always going to schools based off of the program that they had because in Florida... You can go to school um, with different magnet programs and things like that. So that's what I was doing. I was going, um, I think elementary school had a great school by my parents, um, their businesses. So they wanted to be closed just in case they need to pop up. And then um, in middle school, it was like an A-rated school next clear close to my parents. And then the other one was the top school in the county. So obviously I was going to go there. Um... But yeah, so along the way, I feel like every step of your journey, you're meant to have certain people in your life. You're meant to have certain people in your life. You're going to have certain people that make you want to do more. You want to have more. You're going to have certain people in your life who push you to do more. You're going to have certain people in your life who push you because you don't want to be in the same position as them. If you know what I mean? Like, um, I feel like every stage of our life is there for a reason we go through different journeys we go through different stages we go through different different kinds of crap okay we go through crap um and different scenarios in our life where it shapes us into the person that we are today it builds so much character for us we go through different situations so when you're choosing friends for all of my younger people there's a lot of older people too like um, or people my age, if when you're choosing friends, choose friends based off of where you want to go. Don't choose friends based off of the situation that you're in because if you choose friends based off of the situation that you're in, then you're going to stay stuck. Like you're going to stay in the same mindset. You're not going to see further to want to grow because everyone around you is going to be like, oh, no, this lifestyle is OK. Like you shouldn't really like want more. So be around people who push you to want more, to do more, to succeed more. And I promise you, like, it'll be much better for you. This steam honestly feels so good, but it be burning sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> so I have to pull back, go for it, pull back. Yeah, like, I mean, I've had some friends in life who... You know, it just wasn't meant to be. Really just was not meant to be. I'm using my CeraVe for my exfoliator. Um, yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. I mean, I, I've had I've had friends that have influenced me um, to not necessarily like do bad things, but it's like it was like me coming out of my character a little bit. And I once I realized that I was doing that, I was like, whoa, like... I don't need to be hanging around these people if they're gonna like push me to do that and it's not even really them doing it but me being influenced by the behavior or what is acceptable around them so i mean as you grow up you learn you live you learn like they say you live and you learn and even in relationships you gotta know that you should not take a bunch of crap you shouldn't take no kind of crap and I think that's what a lot of people like, you know, you in college and your friends or you in high school and your friends telling you like, oh my God, girl, like, yeah, like, you know, just let him, you know, just let him do this or no, just give him another chance. Like, if you feel like some type of way about anything, that's your red flag right there. So don't let your friends influence you to live a life of misery is the key. Now this... This feels really good. If y'all wanted to know where this spin brush was from, it is from Vanity Planet. And I absolutely love it. It has like interchangeable heads and everything. And it's just honestly amazing. Like my skin be, my skin be feeling so good as it is like, make sure that I get all my pores cleaned. And yeah. And then the, um, I got the steamer from Amazon. It's pure daily care, facial steamer, whatever. Yeah, but today's Sunday self-care routine is a little bit 
um, you know, different, I guess. Just because we just wanted to chat with you guys. And I kind of want to do... I want to do like more like girly like because there's a lot of things I haven't really been able to do like get pedicures and stuff because listen some people out there back in the streets because the stores is open but your girl is not back out there in the streets okay I don't really, I really don't go anywhere hey okay, y'all see me go to Target one time and that was just because my car my thing broke y'all y'all will not catch me out in these streets but yeah i'm gonna start doing more to feel make myself feel more like myself i think um you know on sundays i do like to um have a little bit of relaxation for myself just like in preparation for the week it's not like oh my god my week is just about to be so super stressful and like i don't manage it well it's just that you know you just kind of relax reflect on the week think about things that you did well think about things that you could possibly improve on and it's just kind of like self-care for yourself so that you know like you don't get lost within yourself i think that is the key a lot of people don't sit and re um self-reflect on things going on in their life and you know it just kind of leads to trouble along the way when you just really you're like okay why am i feeling like this when in reality you should just be checking in on yourself you can check in on yourself you don't need anybody to check in on you because i know some people are like that they're like i'm always checking in on everybody else but they're not checking in on me and so it's checking on yourself you know yourself better than anybody else and everybody don't need to know your business um so yeah just just do you okay you don't need nobody's validation or I know I understand you probably want some support and whatever you got going on, but you can work out your problems yourself. Everybody don't need to know your business. But that is the end of this week's self-care self Sunday. I am going to um, probably be doing like my nails or something next time so y'all can see. You put on some press ons and yeah, just to make myself feel good and girly and everything. And y'all give me some shops to shop from because I'm trying to re up my wardrobe. Like, I'm going for classy but fun. So, if you catch my vibe, send me some stores. I'm ready to wear, um, order some new clothes. I want to do a try on haul for y'all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, enjoyed this quick little self care facial, like quick Sunday, you know, routine for you guys. And um, this was Vlogmas Day 6. And I will see y'all tomorrow.